There's no question gun violence is a problem here at home. We've established that. It's important to also point out it is killing our kids and young adults. A recent Johns Hopkins report analyzing CDC data found guns are the leading cause of death for kids, teens and young adults under 25 in the US. Too many of our young people are losing their lives to violence, a problem advocates say is preventable with the right amount of effort. It is a community problem. We know who's causing these habits, taking each other's lives, hurting someone else, and we're not safe until we come together as a whole and stand together to make this change because we can do it. Much of the emphasis in the week after the shooting has involved reaching out to teens to try and prevent violence like this from happening in the first place. We've seen mental health forums for kids and teens in the days since the shooting. There's even a special hotline set up designed to prevent youth violence. It's called Why Chat. Let's discuss with Laura McDonald, executive director of Moore Squared, the group partnering with the Kansas City, Missouri Health Department to help make this happen. Thanks for being here. How did this program come about? So I train and organize a group of youth in a summer leadership program and in 22, it was our debut program, one of the kids who in particular was touched by a violent crime and his family, uh, Julian Williams, had this idea. They all pitched ideas to each other and of course, uh, Youth Violence Prevention Hotline was the winning idea. Nice. Dealing with youth violence in Kansas City, that's just the reality of, of, of the time we're in right now. Why is this hotline so important? Well, I think it's especially critical for young people to know that there's somebody to turn to who will listen. It's important for them to know that they won't get in trouble um, if they call somebody, that it's not police that they're calling, but somebody who can give them real guidance in, in their situation. How does this work? So if I call the phone number, what's offered to me? So you can call, you can also text, because that's what the young people do, right? And <laughs> right. So, so you can call or text the phone number and immediately somebody who's done violence interruption work for our city already will respond immediately and um, intervene and help. Mm -hmm. Does this uh, advice, is it uh, help for the, the family potentially? Does this start and kind of turn into a, a larger advocacy? I think it could depend on the need, really. It's really intended to be triaged according to need and, and for um, the city to respond with social workers if they can or resources if they need to or just some advice in the moment. You know, it kind of depends on the circumstances. Just somebody to talk to. Yeah. Right. You, you mentioned uh, kids worrying they're going to get into trouble. I imagine when you have a program like this that you have to battle hesitancy, right? People worried about retaliation. Mm -hmm. So how do you ease those concerns? I think, you know, anytime uh, youth are reaching out to adults, there's this idea that they could get in trouble for it, um, for what they know or for what their friend did or for what they're facing, right? And um, kids tend to think in the short term. And so I know I did when I was that age, right? And so I think it's really a moment where somebody can immediately intervene on the other end and say, hey, we're glad you contacted us and kind of ease the um, stress that they might be feeling when that first happened. And I think about not just, the, not only the incident at, that happened at the parade and rally last week, but also things like um, the shooting incident in Olathe High School right. or Ralph Yarl getting shot. Mm -hmm. You know, there are a lot of things that our young people are facing in this metro, and we just want them to be able to, if they see something, say something and reach out. All right. well, we appreciate the idea and the sentiment. Lord, thank you very much. Thank you. This hotline is available right now, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Call YChat or text right as the kids do 816-799-1720 it's not connected to the police department be the change you'd like to see in our community